Good afternoon, it's Matt from South Coast Locksmiths. Today it's a little video on how to change the spring in an old fashioned rim lock. Now this lock's probably somewhere between 60 and 80 years old really, and the latch, the spring snapped. So it's just flapping around. Now it's very easy. What you need to do is undo two or three screws depending on the lock from the back. If they're seized, soak them in oil, give them a little tap. Don't force anything. So I'm gonna undo these two. Take them out. Now, over the years, this has been painted and painted and painted. So you might have to struggle to get the back off. So find somewhere to prise it gently. You might have to work around it. And then uh, take that off. And that exposes the inner bits where you're gonna get all your spiders and your cobwebs and dust and dirt. It's been floating around for years. Now the bit we're looking at or concentrating on is the spring that's here. And this is snapped. So there's one half of it and the other half. Now, <clears throat> what we need to do to change it is, you see all this flappy about bit. These are the springs we sell. We sell them in different sizes. The thicker they are, the harder they are to bend. But sometimes they have to be exactly the right size. But this little fella is uh, a quarter inch. He's probably the one I'd recommend as the most popular. Now, the long side of the spring, you see that? That goes against the back wall and the shorter one goes against the little arm that goes against the spindle here. It's a bit difficult to explain that, but I'll show you. So you could squeeze it together and just sit it over this locator hole, or little pin, or you could take it apart. So for the sakes of showing you, I'll take it apart. When you take the bits out, just remember where everything went. And this little fella pops in there like that. And then now this arm is under tension. So we put the spindle turner back in, how it came out. And we put the latch bar back over this little pin that it locates onto. Now come on. Come on. There we go. That's beautiful. Now I have to hold this together. If I let go, it's all going to go ping and bits go everywhere. So now I need to put the back back on. So to do that, I have to hold the spindle turner. And where it's all old and painted, it's a bit fiddly. You might want to use a screwdriver just to hold that spindle turner in place whilst you're resetting the back. Yep, that's all on there. Give it a little tap down. Now I'm confident enough that this will work fine. And what I'm going to do after this video, before we give it back to the customer, is I'm going to take it apart, I'm going to flush it out with oil, I'm going to grease or Vaseline up the bits and bobs, the moving parts, and probably take some paint off and polish it. So <clears throat> that is now a working latch that's sprung under tension. It's beautiful. And our famous little blue tool goes in and you can activate it. The latch is meant to be 45 degree offset. It was an old fashioned idea. And that's about it. So thank you very much for watching. If you want one of these, buy something worth a few quid and we'll send one out. Cheers, bye.